Nollywood actor Yul Edoche has slammed companies making wrong choices in selecting personalities as their brand ambassadors. To him, they have no positive impact in the society and they could actually have negative influence on the youth. In his words, so many brands and companies in Nigeria have been competing to endorse artists, actors, comedians, reality TV stars as their brand ambassadors due to overwhelming attention given to these celebrities. So do you agree with him that it's unnecessary and they should be using other means to gauge who they sign up as ambassadors? Joining us to have this conversation is a Nigerian singer, songwriter, Teniola Apata in the studio. Good to have you. You have multiple endorsements and mm -hmm. um, you have your own brand. But do you f share in what he's saying in that some brands just pick anybody regardless of the person's personality and if the person is giving negative influence what do you think well personally i think every structured company has a marketing department and you know these are professionals that know mm -hmm. what they want and how far they want their brand to go mm -hmm. so i believe if for example this cup is a brand mm -hmm. you want to have an ambassador if you choose this so 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 artist a mm -hmm you know what you're driving at. Mm. You know the audience you want to target. Mm. Um, for example, if I had an alcoholic company, mm. I know the musicians I would sign to. Mm. You know, so just, I feel like most brands look at, because they're also giving you money. Mm -hmm. So they're not stupid. They want value for their money. Yeah. Is there any brand that will come and meet you and you say no to because mm -hmm. of your own brand? Mm. Yes, definitely. I mean, my manager is here. That we've turned a lot of brands down. Why that's, did you do that? That's not just who I am. Oh, okay. the, the so, brand. So what are the things what that the, could be that could make you turn example. down a brand? Mm -hmm. Values. Mm -hmm. For me. For me. Yeah. Um, I mean, I can't do something I'm not. Hmm. I, it won't flow. Yeah, Should I tell you what happened recently? Mm -hmm. And my people can attest to it. I hope my mom is watching. Mm -hmm. So I posted a video on Instagram, and it was a list, it was, I was just having fun. It was just a little vulgar. My mom called me, I was in Dubai. My mom called me, take that down right I now. I saw the picture. The video. It was a video. Oh, okay. My mom said, take that down right now. And I was arguing, she said, that's not who you are, take it down. Mm -hmm. And I took it down because I had to rethink, you know, in the next 20 years, hmm. what do I want? To be remembered for what because... Do I, you, do you know what I'm saying? So, I make money. Hmm. It's not 100 million. Hmm. I can make that over and over again. Mm. It's after the 100 million. What next? what next? Then, when you see me outside, my dignity, hmm. my prestige. My father be the, my, I mean, I'm not, I'm not just saying this. My mm. father built a legacy. Yes. Mm. 20 years after, he's still very much celebrated. Mm -hmm. It's not the money. Yeah. It's when, when we die, when we can't live forever. Mm -hmm. So when we die, it's not the money we had. Mm. It's what we've done. We feel your vibe. Um, but for those that don't know, what is your vibe? Because I, I realize that people don't define themselves and I'm big on identity, knowing yourself. And you keep saying your values, your beliefs, your kidney. What's the vibe you are deliberately bringing out there? Positive energy. Mm -hmm. I keep saying it every interview I go. I, I only have one life to live. Mm -hmm. I might as well just make the best of it. Mm -hmm. So that when I go and I'm looking at my, my caskets, <laughs> ah, I'm like, <laughs> Just a baby. <laughs> I had the best, I had the best time when I was alive. Yeah. Mm. So, you know, we're not going to be here forever, like I mm -hmm. keep saying. Hmm. Every day counts, every second counts, mm. every... Make like, the impact. Make, like, just be happy, live happy. Let's mm. talk about your dad, because when you sang a song and it was totally dedicated to your dad, I checked him out. I said, I Google you, <laughs> Google your parents and your dad. Found out that he was a former military man and he was assassinated. How did you take it? What, what happened around that time when it happened? How old were you? How old were you? How did you deal with it? And did it in any way turn, maybe the loss or grief was what you dealt with that made you turn out like this? So for me, I was two years old and my younger sister was like two weeks old. So it was a lot for my mom at yeah. the time. So what stood out for me was the fact that my dad, and, and I'm saying this publicly for fathers out there, to learn. My dad worked really hard to make sure that even years after his death was still very okay. Mm. You know, 
and that is a visionary. That is that's a visionary. You know, thinking about your kids, even if you're, you're even if you're gone, will they still be okay? And that's why I was. Even financially, that you provided. Every, every in every way, you know. Um, Twenty years after my father died, I went to university. Well, no. I think 15 years after I died, I went to university abroad. My parents were able to pay. Obviously, I'm very privileged, but that's a genius right there. Mm. And that's that's you why I yeah that's why I real yeah that's why I I talk about him every time. I respect him. Uh, that's not an easy task to mm -hmm. to no, fulfill. But growing up without my father knowing he was assassinated mm. is something I will carry to my grave. Mm. You know, we never found who did it. Mm. Mm. You know, till today. till today. And if you go to Iriakari, my father tarred most mm -hmm. of the roads there. Mm. You know, in fact, they haven't even tarred the one he had tarred oh, since yes. 20 something years ago. Okay. So he made a huge impact. Mm -hmm. And that's why when I sang Uyomeo, I was happy that I could at least be successful mm. to carry his name mm -hmm. to places mm -hmm. he never dreamed. Wow. You know, it could go. And that's my, that's what I want to do is to just carry my father's name. Be the right ambassador of your father. You know, represent him. Talking to you now, I understand that you're not someone who is, um, you're not, you're not a proud person. Okay, I saw that. And you have a good personality. But sometimes, do you tend to judge those people who are not taking your path, who are not as moral as you? The only time I can judge you is if I'm perfect myself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm not perfect. Me, my don't you? <laughs> I'm not going to be. Join us <laughs> next week for another exciting episode of Your View. Hey! Stand up, hey. Stand up, hey. Stand up now. Hey! Mama! Hey! If wishes were horses, is it too much?